Can ultrasounds cause uh, sound and noise problems? A couple of years ago, something interesting happened to me. I was out doing some uh, inspection work on a new building site that was on its way. It was a hotel in that case. And uh, I was just going to verify the um, installation noise sound pressure levels in, in some of the guest rooms. And I entered these rooms. They were quiet. I mean, dead silent. I couldn't hear anything in them. So I was quite surprised when I grabbed my sonometer, make a measurement, and I... What? And I don't remember exactly what level I had, but it was like, I think it was like 40, 50 something. Pretty, pretty loud. I mean, how is that possible? It's quiet here. The thing is, when I started to look at the results in detail, you know, the weighting curves, if we look at A weighted sound pressure level and C weighted frequency hertz here, and we have, uh, what's, what do we call it? Weighting in dB. So what it means is if you, if you measure the A weighted sound pressure level, you will have some, it will, it will take into account and adapt the measured level accordingly to to the human hearing. So it's, or maybe it's more like, like this. Oh, it's difficult to draw it. There, I think it is. And if you do C weighted, it's gonna look more like this. Let's see if I can get it. Ish, pretty much. And what this means is that if you, if you set your sonometer to measure the A weighted level, it will, give a higher level if you have a lot a sound that has a lot of content in in this frequency range up here but if it's low frequency like wind power or large diesel engines on a ship or something then the energy is going to be down here so if if there's a lot of sound energy down here you will get a high dbc rating but you will not see that on the dba and in my case now I have the same value on both TBA and DBC. So what that tells you is that, okay, it's definitely not a low frequency problem in here. It has to be something that goes on up here in the high frequency range, because up here, DBA and DBC are quite similar in the way how they weight different frequencies. So I started looking, couldn't see anything obvious. So I turned on the FFT, narrow band analysis on my meter and what I found was that there was there was a spike. It's like quiet, 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 and then very, very high up in the frequency range, you had like a tone, and this tone was so high up in frequency that I couldn't hear it. It was outside of my hearing range, which. I mean, I'm a musician and a motorcyclist and uh, acoustician, so I've, maybe I've, my ears <laughs> have lost some performance up in the extreme high frequency range. That could absolutely be a possibility. Or I'm, I'm an old man and they tend to, to drop down and go more to this direction that the, the hearing range becomes more and more like a low pass filter the older you get. So that could be an issue. But anyways, it was outside of the frequency range, which uh, which could could perhaps be a fair name to call it an, an ultrasound then. Now, what was it? Or And is it a problem? Because, it, I mean, I couldn't hear it. But the thing is, this is a hotel, so there might be some guests who are very sensitive that enter these rooms, and some people will probably hear this sound, and they will find it very annoying. I mean, you just imagine if you probably heard sounds of this character if it's perhaps a bit lower in frequency, maybe here, so that you can actually clearly hear it. And it's beep, silent, but it's really clear tone with high frequency. It can be very annoying. And what it turns out that this was from the fire alarm. The spoken fire alarm had some strange connection in the, in the, in the uh, electric connections somewhere. And... Uh, they found it, they fixed some stuff with that, and I went back and I did a measurement, and, and this one was completely gone. We got rid of it. 
and it was dead silent again. Oh, well, for me it was dead silent all along, but from some poor souls might have heard this horrible beep sound. So it was important to get rid of it. So, but that's one of the few, perhaps, perhaps it's the only time where I've encountered problems with, with of this character. I mean, low frequency problems, if you have stuff going on down here, that's much more common. But up here in the high frequency range, that's uh, at least for me, it's quite rare. Have you had any problems like this? If you have encountered high frequency, I'd love to mention it in the comments. It's uh, interesting to hear what kind of strange things that we might encounter as acousticians when we're out there in the field. So, and uh, well, now you know that there's at least one source that you can check out if you're doing inspection work with a spoken fire alarm if there's something strange going on. And and the instant giveaway here was that I got the same DBA and DBC level and they were quite high even though the ra room was dead silent. So that's the, the giveaway. That's like Sherlock Holmes with his uh, magnifying glass looking for fingerprints. Well, I'm a, I'm an acoustician and, and th this is my this is my looking glass and I'm I'm walking around looking for acoustic fingerprints with this guy and in this case I found it so yeah that's a little story about 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 uh, ultrasounds <laughs> so and in today's video I'm wearing a green jacket one of my absolute favorites blue shirt and a little pocket square with orange and blue so it ties it all together orange and green is a fantastic combination which I really like see you later